to my channel in today's lesson oh okay for today i brought out a past west african examination council question on uh in mathematics and these are the uh, number five of them number five of year 1997 past question okay so we are asked given that five y minus x all over 8y plus 3x is equal to 1 over 5. We are asked to find x over y. Then this is the b part. I'm going to solve the a part first, okay? Then in my next video, I would like you to try to solve this b part yourself. But in my next video, okay, I'm going to solve the b part. So let's get to it, okay? Solution. Okay, we are told that 5y minus x all over 8y plus 3x is equal to 1 over 5. Okay, so what do we do now? When you have this type of question, the first thing you should do is to try to clear this word fraction. And how do you clear this fraction? You can do that if you just do cross multiplication. Okay, so let's cross multiply. Cross multiply. Okay. And when you do that, you are going to have this times this, okay? 1 times this. You are still going to have 8y plus 3x is equal to 5 into what? 5 into 5y minus x. Hope you are following me. That is 1 times this gave me this. 5 times this is going to be 5 into this, right? So you are going to have 8y plus 3x is equal to 5 times 5y is going to be 25y. Minus 5 times x is going to give us 5x. Okay, so at this point, eh, we are going to collect our like terms. So you collect your like terms. Now, um, this 8y now. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, this 8y now. I want this 25y to come to it. And if that should be the case, no, this 25y is sent in as plus 25y, right? So if it crosses this equation, it becomes minus. 25y is equal to now when this 25y left minus 5x was remaining okay minus 5x was remaining so what i'm going to do i'll write down minus 5x that was remaining then this plus 3x we cross over to come and meet it and if plus 3x crosses over it becomes minus 3x hope you're getting me all right so 8y minus 25y is going to give us minus 17y okay so it's going to be minus 17y is equal to 5x min minus 5x minus 3x is going to give us minus 8x okay so notice that we are asked to find x over y not x or y but x over y okay so <clears throat> we are going to have we have minus 17y is equal to minus 8x that is we have minus 17y is equal to minus 8x. Now, remember we are, we are looking for x over y. So, for me to put over y here, so that I'll have x over y, that means I also I will also put over y to this side. Whatever I do to the right-hand side, I will also do the same thing to the left-hand side, okay? So, when I do that, this y will cancel this y. So, we are left with minus 17 here. Minus 17 is equal to minus 8x over y. Okay, but what we are looking for is x over y, not minus 8x over y. So that means we need to remove this minus 8 so that only x over y will remain. Okay, but before that, if you have followed me to this level, to this stage, it means that you are actually enjoying what I'm doing. So I will ask that you please click on the subscription button and on your notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. So please subscribe so that you will follow me into my next video. All right, so this is what we have here now. We need to remove this minus eight so that we have only x over y that is required from us. So how do we do that? That means we need to divide both sides by what? Minus eight. Because the only way we divide here by minus eight, that this minus eight, we divide this minus eight and only x over y will remain. So how do we do that? We are going to say minus 17 over minus eight is equal to minus 8 over minus 8 x over y okay because this sentence has minus 8 on its own times x over y 
I don't know if you are getting it. Or you can multiply this by 1 over minus 8. Anyhow you want to do it. So you notice that this minus 8, we cancel this minus 8. Then negative, we cancel negative. So you are left with the final result that 17 over 8, 17 over 8 is equal to what? X over Y. All right, I would like you to do this second one. Like I said, in my next video, I'm going to brief. I'm going to post a solution to the B part of this question. So I would like you to do it by yourself and see if you can get the result by yourself before then. Okay, do have a lovely day. Bye.